Hi everybody, so I'm just getting my day started here and I thought it would be a really good day to film a spend a fall day with me video or sort of like a fall reset. I've been in a very refocused, declutter, reset mode lately, especially since everything is kind of slowed down. The pace of life has slowed down a little bit now that it's fall and we've been working on a lot of home projects and we have a lot of, you know, house updates, life updates to share. I wanted to just get some house projects done and also, um, well, I guess the first update is make room for our new addition. <laughs> We're expecting a new baby in January. I'm actually six months pregnant, so <laughs> we're like really expecting. Yeah, so that's a big update. I am here in my office space, which was, this was where I filmed my videos and to keep my makeup and everything. You guys can see I'm, it's a little messy back there. Like I'm reorganizing this shelf here with all my makeup and really downsizing this space and downsizing my collection and paring it all down because it's going to become a nursery slash office. So I know, I don't know how that is going to realistically work out, but we'll see. It's what we're doing. So it's the plan for now. You know, another life update is sadly, we lost our kitty biscuit over the summer and a lot of you guys commented on that post when I sort of at the time when it happened on Instagram and I just want to thank you all so much for reaching out and sharing your memories with her because it was really comforting to me at the time it was really hard to say goodbye to her she was in my life for like 17 years since I was 19 years old so that was a hard one for me and she spent a lot of time in this room so it was hard for me to come in here for a while uh so i'm really just grateful that i have this new distraction and new project to work on i'm really happy that i get to turn this room into a kid's room and a baby room and an office uh because i always thought it would make such a perfect room for that with all the picture frame molding and everything it could just be so magical in here whereas before it was just like a lot of lighting and <laughs> i don't know it just never felt like it was living up to its magic potential you know so anyway so i'll take you around a little bit um you guys have mostly seen i kind of think i want to paint the walls which i'm not telling my husband yet because he has been painting every square inch of this house this year we've really been <laughs> We've been working on a lot of stuff. Um, but you know, back in like 2016, I painted it gray when gray was just really, really popping. And it was when I didn't really know my own design style. And I just kind of did it. And it's nice, it's pretty, it's very serene, but it's also just a little too like cold and sterile for me. I was thinking more of like a creamy, oatmeal-y white or something. Something just to warm it up in here a little bit, make it feel more cozy. So um, yeah, I've been moving a lot of stuff out of here. Basically going through all, this is where I keep all my makeup by the way, on this Ikea shelf and then down here, I recently just went through and donated stuff and passed things on to friends, but that's where I put makeup that I'm planning on not keeping. So that's why I have all these makeshift labels on things because I'm going through and just reorganizing organizing everything and downsizing my collection big time. I also have a beauty closet in here that needs to be reorganized. This is a filming table. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, sadly, <laughs> this is this is my makeup mirror and I think it's about time to pass this on. I just don't have the space for it anymore. I had a lot of great years with this makeup mirror. You know, it's definitely a bittersweet. I also keep some art supplies back in here. I think I'm actually gonna work on a painting later. But yeah, it is definitely bittersweet. But I just haven't actually used it to do my makeup in years and I'm planning on putting a crib here. So I'm gonna need the space for a rocker and like a little reading nook and everything. A basket full of old backdrops that I'm going to be donating to someone who needs fabric. Already started moving baby clothes in there. My desk area will be remaining as is for the time being at least, but a lot of other things are probably gonna get moved around. I'm not really sure guys, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. So I did roll the rug out from this room because I did end up getting a new one that I feel like is 
better for a kid's room. Um, and Wiley dumped hot pink blush all over the old one, so I have to clean that too. I do have some painter's tape on the floor to mark where I used to have like my table and camera and everything. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. All right, time for the pregnant lady to get a workout. Goodness. I love it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so I love this. <laughs> it's so perfect. I'm gonna have to get Josh to help me because obviously it's gotta go under some corners here. I do think I'm gonna have to swap out that painting because it's really yellowed over time and it just doesn't really like go, you know? I'll probably end up getting a rug pad for it too. But this is so cute, I love it. I just wanna sit on it. <laughs> But this just changed the whole vibe of this room. I love it so much, I'm so happy with it. I do think I am gonna paint the walls. <laughs> I might wait till after the baby actually comes to do that. That way I can just do it myself. I'm getting excited. It's starting to feel real. Obviously I have to get it all centered and under the furniture correctly, but I think it's gonna be perfect. I just wanna like move that table out of here so you can get the full picture. <laughs> But um, hopefully this one lasts a little longer before Wiley decides to do his makeup swatches on here. Hey you, what's that, what's her, what, what, what's that strong guy in harmonica? <sighs> okay, here we are. I am actually gonna go through my pregnancy safe, non-invasive skincare and gua sha routine that I've been doing to brighten and tone my complexion, contour. I've really been loving this. I love this tool that I've been using too and I hold a ton of tension in my face. I've always been a night guard wearer, a teeth grinder, so I'm just very, very tense in through here all the time. I find this helps me to relax and it's just like a nice little self-care moment. I'm gonna be doing a painting today, I think. That's the plan. I'm doing a miniature version of the bigger one that I plan to do for our living room. So I just wanna like get in the zone and be centered. We have been working on redoing this bathroom in here, so don't mind like the little holes in the wall we still have and stuff. We have to touch up some paint spots back here. We actually don't even have a mirror in here right now. We're just slowly working through the house. All of the skincare products I'm gonna be using today in this routine are by Face Gym. If you've never heard of this brand, I highly recommend hopping on their Instagram and checking it out. They have a huge following and all the products are so highly rated um, with really amazing reviews. So they have actual physical locations you can go to to get a facial workout to lift and contour your complexion, but they also have the products you can purchase and go through the routine at home in the comfort of your own bathroom. So the routine goes prep, train, and recover, a lot like a normal workout. So I'm gonna start off with the prep step, which is the Face Gym Electrolyte Energizing and Brightening Gel Cleanser. So this one has hydrating electrolytes to replenish the skin barrier. It cleanses, dissolves impurities, and helps to reveal a brighter complexion. The texture of that one is so nice. It also makes your skin look so smooth. It helps to shrink your pores. Normally, step two would be the youthful active roller. I'm gonna hold off until after pregnancy to try this one out since it is a micro needling roller, but it's really cool because it has crystallized ingredients in there, including rena seed, which is a plant-based alternative to retinol. So my step two is to train with the Face Gym Hydrobound Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid and Niacinamide Serum. It has a little pop-up cap with a glass dropper. And this is lightweight, you can use it every day. So this one creates a moisture lock to deliver long lasting hydration. It also encourages your skin to naturally produce hyaluronic acid to improve elasticity and the look of fine lines. The next one, my step three, would be the Recover, the Face Gym Lift, Wear, Lift, and Brighten Vitamin C and Bio Ferment Gel Cream. This is my moisturizing step. So the Lift, Wear Moisturizer is 
designed to firm lift and brighten so this one has some pretty cool stats as well after 28 days of use skin looks more radiant and dark spots appear reduced it also has a triple brightening complex to help reduce the appearance of age spots and unify your skin tone it just gives you the most plump bouncy skin so my final step is the routine that I go through with the face gym multi sculpt tool this thing is amazing again you should really check out the reviews on their website people rave about this it has six different edges that do different things and help you lift and contour like reduce blockages in the muscles aid lymphatic drainage and also the good stuff <laughs> depuff and reduce fine lines you can use it warm or cool so you could put it in your refrigerator if you want to if you drop this it is not going to chip or break because it's like recyclable stainless steel you just want to use three to five drops of your favorite facial oil that just allows the tool to glide over the skin the size of the neck should be avoided during pregnancy but the rest of your face can be worked on safely just using light pressure you just want to be careful around the eye area this really does feel amazing though i can already feel it like just deep huffing my super extra pregnant and puffy face <sighs> that is seriously amazing <laughs> If you've never tried that before, you really should give it a go. So big thank you to Face Gym for sponsoring this portion of the video and making me feel relaxed and energized at the same time. I didn't even know that was possible. So if you want to try these products, you can click the link in my description box and enjoy 20% off all skincare tools with the code SHOPLOOKS20. Okay, so here's my extra large canvas that I got on super sale at Michael's. My dad and I had to drive over to New Jersey to get it because unbeknownst to me, it they did have a sale going on last week and all of the large, large canvases were sold out in Philadelphia. So we had to go on a wild goose chase to get it and they could only fit in his car. So it was just like a whole big adventure. But because it's a 48 by 60, the eight by 10 should transfer perfectly to this. And this is going to go above our new couch in our living room that we just got. Um, that just needs something really big above it. So I'm on borrowed time because Josh took Wiley to the grocery store. Uh, I have a couple inspiration pictures. One for the kind of colors that I want to go for. And then the other is more of the actual subject. I love that one, that's pretty cool. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to stop here because I'm running out of time. My son is coming home soon and he is just gonna dive headfirst into these paints, which is honestly kind of a bummer because I was really getting into the zone. But hopefully you can see <laughs> this starting to take a little bit of shape. It's gonna be a sitting figure. I actually really like the way the colors are looking so far. I was worried they were gonna be too saturated and bright, but it's looking really moody, which is kind of how I envisioned it. Trees. What, baby? A mouse sticker on here and googly eyes. Googly eyes? Yeah. And that's for Halloween, too. I like that idea, babe. Okay, so I just pulled myself together really quickly because I wanted to run out and do a few things. The first being get some coffee because I am dragging. So I actually wanted to get a pumpkin coffee, which I'm not really that big on that, but I decided why not? It feels like fall. Let's go for a pumpkin cold brew. They were out of that, so I just got the good old pumpkin spice to see if I still like it. You know what? It's good. 
I, I, I want to hate on it every year, but it's just, it tastes good. What can I say? The second thing I wanted to do is check out the selection for window box plantings for fall. I'm a little behind this year as I usually am, but my husband's birthday is in October and all Josh ever asks for every single year for his birthday is fall window boxes, like planted. He came from a big gardening family and they owned a Christmas tree farm and everything like that. So he's really into it and I'm really into it. So I love that that is what he always asks for. The selection from what I can see over here is looking a little bleak but I'm gonna go check it out and see what I can find. <laughs> I can barely pull my leg up here to show you guys these. Um, <laughs> my belly's in the way. I also wanted to mention how happy I am that the Ultra Mini Uggs are in style. I love these. <laughs> Anything that is comfort, I am all about it. I did try on the other ones too, like the clog version, but I felt like the embroidery made the opening to the boot so much smaller and my feet are only getting more and more swollen, so I just didn't think that'd be a smart buy, but I'm loving the Ultra Minis. They are phenomenal. Pregnant or not, I'm all about comfort these days. Oh, I should also show you guys this. One of these times I'll actually get out of my car. I feel like this lip combo, so this has been like a little fall lip combo for me, and I'm feeling like on camera it looks more pink, but I've really been loving this. So this is the Rare Beauty Lip Liner, the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Humble, and it's just the perfect, like warm, toasty pink. Then on top of that, I have the NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Intimate, which again is like a toasted pink. That's like a nude, actually. I have a ColourPop So Juicy Gloss on top. I think that's why it's making it look more pink. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys that I really love too, this Well People Supernatural Stick. It's a multi-use blush, so you can use it on your cheeks and lips. And the shade is pomegranate. It is so perfect. It's like the perfect berry stained, but also juicy, it's kind of glossy looking color for your lips. It's pink, but it's still pomegranate, you know, so it's very fall. So I love this one so much. This is the only Well People product I've ever tried, but I do follow them on Instagram. 